Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to use the servo motors with the micro bits. So I'm gonna just make a new project called servo motor. Um, and this is a really cool thing to learn how to do. Uh, there's so many applications. I especially like trying, uh, making vending machines and I'm gonna show you how to do all of that. Um, so the first thing you have to do uh, is you have to get the extension for servo motors. So if you click on extensions and then just click on the servo motor, it will put servos right here as one of your different menu options. So that's cool. All right, so what we're going to do is on start, we want to kind of calibrate our servo motors. So we're going to set our servo motor, um, the second one over here, where it says set servo P pin zero range zero to 180. So we're going to go ahead and just like tell it like the range that we want it to go to. So like if you only want your servo motor to go from like zero to 90, you could do that. And then we're going to go ahead and just set our servo and it can be, um, the micro bits have pins uh, zero, one, or two, and then the the third pin right here is the goes to the voltage and then this one goes to the ground so mine's going to be connected to the zero pin um, and I'm going to go ahead and set it to 90 degrees okay so I'm just going to make a really simple one with an on button a and I'm also under my basic menu I'm going to show the icon uh, like a heart just so that I know that it has turned on so it's going to just have a heart and then when I press button A what I want it to do is I want it to have a smiley face so that I know that it has registered I always like to try to incorporate my LED screen in there somewhere um, and then I'm going to have my servo move so it's currently at 90 so I'm going to have it move to zero and then I'm going to have it pause for, I don't know, maybe uh, two seconds. Um, you can always like copy paste too. So command C, command V. Um, okay, so we're gonna have it go back to 90. And then I'm gonna just have it do a little check mark so I can see that it is done. So I'm gonna put a little check mark there. Actually, I'm not gonna put my icon heart there. I'm gonna just have it in a forever block. Uh, that makes more sense so it's always going to show a heart unless i press a it's going to show a smiley face it's going to go to zero it's going to wait two seconds it's going to go back to 90 check mark and then it should go back to the heart so if over here i click the simulator and i press a um, it should give me a happy face the servo moved back and then gave me a check mark and then it should go back to the heart that is perfect okay so i'm going to now download this so what you do then is you're going to go to your finder and go to your downloads and i'm going to connect my micro bit so we're going to plug this into the micro bit like so and you should see the micro bit uh, pop up over here on the finder um, and we're going to drag this um, file that we downloaded oopsie we're going to drag it over to the micro bit and the micro bit you should see um, it blinking uh, and then when it finishes the download it will stop blinking okay so here is my servo motor and your servo motor has three um, wires coming off of it and uh, the red one is the uh, goes to the three volt. So I'm going to come over here and connect to the three volt. The brown wire, which I have connected to the black cord, is going to go um, to the ground. And then the green one um, is going to go to pin zero because that's what I have it coded to. Sweet. And I can already hear my little motor. Okay, so I'm going to click on the back button. Sweet. And then if I press A, it works. I'm going to press A and it's going to give me a smiley face. It's going to go to zero degrees and then it goes back to 90, gives me a check mark and then back to the heart. So again, boop. Perfect. So this is really cool because you can like put a piece of cardboard on here. Um, and when you press A, you could like the cardboard could move. And then if you had like some sort of bottle with candy in it, um, gravity could like let it go. And then after the um, servo goes back to the starting place, it would block the candy from falling out. Um, or you could connect it to like a piece of cardboard and um, have some sort of um, thing waving or something like that. But it does work. So that's how you do it. Super easy and super fun. So have fun with that. And that is it. That is how you use a servo motor with your micro bit. I will link these servo motors in um, the description and please like and follow. And uh, if you want to know how to do something specific, just let me know and I'll make a video over it.